Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Deathbot from 32 Academy. The question asks you to find the value of positive integer n given that 1 over square root of 4 plus square root of 5 plus 1 over square root of 5 plus square root of 6 following this pattern all the way until 1 over square root of n plus square root of n plus 1 is equal to 10. So what is the value of n whereby n is a positive integer? So let's try to solve this algebra question together whereby it will follow some telescopic sum. Okay, so answer. So for each fraction, we notice that there is a general term to it. So the general term would be Notice every fraction always starts with 1 divided by square root of, let's say it's a k, and the second number is always k plus 1, 1 more than the previous number. If you multiply by the conjugate of this, so basically I multiply the denominator and numerator by square root of k plus 1 minus square root of k, so the denominator now becomes k plus 1 minus k. All right, which makes the denominator to be 1 and that means it just leaves you with the numerator k plus 1 minus square root of k. All right, so if we use this general term, so that means for the first fraction, our value of k is equal to 4. That means 1 over square root of 4 plus square root of 5 is equal to square root of 5 minus square root of 4. So let's say that expression. Let me write down the expression again. 1 over square root of n plus n plus 1. Go to. So like I said, the first fraction is when the value of k is equal to 4. So, square root of 5 minus square root of 4. For the second fraction, the value of k now is equal to 5. That means that it will be square root of 6 minus square root of 5. Following the same pattern, this is square root of 7 minus square root of 6, all the way until square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n. Notice that this sum, you can start to cancel each other out. So what is left will be the last positive term, which is square root of n plus 1 minus the first negative term, which is minus square root of 4. And from the question, it is given that that expression is equal to 10. So square root of n plus 1 minus square root of 4 is equal to 10. That means square root of n plus 1 is equal to square root of 4 is 2, negative 2. If you shift it to the right hand side, it's equal to 2 plus 10, so that's equal to 12. That means n plus 1 is equal to square, you will get 144, and that will give you hands n is equal to 143. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.